In this video, I'll explain how to remove the last element of a JavaScript array. In JavaScript, the pop method removes the last element of the array and returns that element. So here I've got an array called foo, and if I call the pop method, it should remove the last element, which is a letter F, and it will return that element that it removes with a letter F, and the length will change from 6 to 5. Let's see this in action. So first I want to define the array. So I've got this array called foo now, and if I inspect foo, we'll see it's got an element with six, uh, it's an array with six elements, the last one is f. So now if I call the pop method of foo, it should do two things. It should return the letter f, which we'll see in a second, and the length of foo should change from six to five. So here it returned the letter f, and then if I do foo, Dot length, we can see the length of the array is now 5. If I inspect foo, you can see it no longer has the letter F, it's just A, B, C, D, E. So now if I call foo.pop again, it should return the letter E and it should change the length from 5 to 4. So execute pop, it returns the letter E. And then if I want to look at foo again, I can see that it's got four elements in the array. And then if I execute uh, pop one more time, it should return the letter D, which is the last element of the array. And then foo should now have three elements in it. So the pop method always returns the last element of the array. It removes the last element and returns it. And of course, the length of that array will change. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.